नमस्कार डियर स्टूडेंट्स फॉर अबाउट थ्री टू फोर हंड्रेड इयर्स बिफोर शिवाजी महाराज महाराष्ट्र वॉज नॉट फ्री इट वॉज डिवाइडेड बिटवीन द सुल्तान दिव कॉन्स्टेंटली फॉट अगेंस्ट ईच अदर द पीपल वॉज सफर दे वॉन्टेड टू कम आउट ऑफ दिस डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशन एट दिस टाइम द सेम्स केम टू द रेस्क्यू these saints changed their thoughts and developed faith in god now you must be thinking who are the saints saints are the people who are totally devoted to god they are holy people whatever they teach they follow it in their own life they follow the path of truth and teach people different values to serve humanity let's learn more about them in this lesson number 2 work of the saints maharashtra is known as santanchi bhumi that means the land of the saints the tradition of saints that began in maharashtra with shri chakradhar swami sant namdev संत ज्ञानेश्वर संत चोखामेळा संत गोरोबा संत सावता संत नरहरी संत एकनाथ संत शेख मोहम्मद संत तुकाराम संत नीलोबा एक्सेट्रा सिमिलरली संत जनाबाई संत सोयराबाई संत कान्हो पात्रा अँड संत बहिणाबाई शिवरकर आर ऑल्सो इन्क्लुडेड दे टॉट पीपल वेरियस वर्च्युज लाईक कम्पॅशन विच मीन्स टू कन्सर्न फॉर द वेल्फेअर अँड वेलबिंग ऑफ अदर्स नॉन व्हायलेन्स चॅरिटी सर्व्हिस इक्वॉलिटी अँड ब्रदरहूड नो वन इज इन्फिरियर नो वन इज सुपिरियर ऑल आर इक्वल इन आईज ऑफ कॉस्ट such was the sentiment that was created by saints in the minds of people similarly we the bhavanites follow these virtues our motto is anobhadraha katavo yantu vishvatah means let noble thoughts come to us from every side now children we will learn more about shri chakradhar swami that is kuvar haripal dev shri chakradhar swami was originally a prince from gujarat he became an ascetic and he moved all over maharashtra preaching equality he did not believe in any discrimination based on gender or caste so several men and women became his followers the sect or sampraday he established is known as mahanubhav sect memorable incidents from his life have been compiled in a book titled leela charitra now children let's learn about sant namdev that is namdev damaji redekar sant namdev was a great devotee of lord vithal He lived in the village Narsi. He composed numerous songs in praise of God, performed kirtans everywhere, and brought about general awakening among the people. He moved all over Maharashtra to spread Bhagavad Dharma and taught the people deep devotion to God. He instilled in them the desire to protect their religion. Sant Namdev later traveled all over India spreading the message of humanity. He traveled to Punjab and spread the message of equality among the people there. He composed songs in Hindi. Even today some of his verses or shlokas are included in Guru Granth Sahib the holy book of the Sikhs. 
His songs are still sung all over Maharashtra with great love and devotion. Now let's move further. Let's learn about Nyaneshwar Vithal Pantha Kulkarni that is Santat Nyaneshwar. Santat Nyaneshwar's family belonged to Apegao near Paichan. Santat Nyaneshwar and Santat Namdev lived in same era. Santat Nyaneshwar was just five years younger than Santat Namdev. Santat Nivrutti Nath and Santat Sopandev were his brothers and Santat Muktabai was his sister. Few people of that time used to look down upon these children because they were the children of a sannyasi. It happened like this. Their father took sannyas and retired from worldly life. As a sannyasi, he left home. But later on, obeying the order of his guru, he returned home and started living with his wife. Their four children were born afterwards. Few religious leaders did not think it was right that a sannyasi should have children. Some people treated these children some people treated these children in a cruel way and forced them to leave their community. Once Nyanishwar went around the town begging for arms. Arms means Biksha. But no one would give him any arms. He had to listen to abusive language instead. Young Nyanishwar was deeply pained by this incident. He entered his hut and locked the door from inside to grieve over his lot. Muktabai came and knocked at the door. She said, Open the door, Nanishwar. How can we remain drowned in our own sorrow? Who will then look after the welfare of the world? These words of his sister gave new hope to Nyaneshwar. He forgot his personal sorrow and started his work. Everywhere, the poor people were being troubled in the name of religion. Nyaneshwar went among the people and taught them to have faith in God. Give equal treatment to all. Help those in trouble and reduce their problems. This was the gist of his advice to the people. Nyaneshwar's words are heard in every nook and corner of Maharashtra for the last 700 years. In those days, all religious books were written in Sanskrit. The language of ordinary people in everyday use was Marathi. In 1290 AD, Nyaneshwar wrote his outstanding book, Nyaneshwari, in Marathi. Children, do you know? In order to simplify Nyaneshwari, Sri Madhukar Ramrao Yardi. The founder chairman of Bhartiya Vidya Bhavan Sthani Kendra wrote Suras Nyaneshwari. The other notable work of Santat Nyaneshwar are Amruta Nubhav and Pasayadan. Children, do you remember? Every Wednesday we used to say Pasayadan. Santat Nyaneshwar thus opened wide for his people the doors of knowledge where he preached the idol of brotherhood among all men. At a very early age, at Arandi near Pune, Nyaneshwar took Samadhi, 
faculties put himself in a trance from which he never came out even today on the 11th day of ashad and kartik lakhs of varkari go to alandi pandhari with great devotion so children today we have learned about shri chakradhar swami sant namdev and sant gyaneshwar next we will learn about sant eknath sant tukaram and samarth ramdas till then take care